Hello, Gary Simon of designcourse.com. Today, I'm not gonna be doing any design work. I'm just gonna talk about something that's really important. It's understated, and it's something that a lot of new or aspiring designers and developers get wrong, all right? So, the idea that uh, you don't need your own website, or maybe you can just host whatever you are your doer work on, like uh, one of the gallery sites like Behance or Dribbble, et cetera, uh, that falls short because really you need your own .com or .net or whatever other extension, preferably .com, uh, in, along with hosting, an actually functioning site. And the reason it's important to have that, and I, I even say need, not necessarily need, you can get by without having one, but you want one, you need one if you want to maximize your ability to gain exposure on the web. So just a real quick story, uh, back in, I'd say, I think it was like 2006 or so, uh, I did have a website, but I never utilized it. And so, and by the way, just to, to side note this, as, aside from actually having a .com or a .net or whatever, you have to use the site as well. So I'm not just saying go out and register uh, a domain name and some hosting and then just forget about it because that doesn't mean shit, right? So you actually have to utilize the site and be active on it. Uh, so back in 2006, I, I had a site. I didn't utilize it though very much. And one day I was bored and so I decided to write a tutorial, a handwritten, not a video one, on how to design a logo. And the reason I did that was just to, uh, it was kind of like a personal challenge to see if I could rank on a real popular site back then I uh, called dig.com, D-I-G-G, and they're not very popular anymore for various reasons, but anyhow, if you made it to the front page, and it was like a social uh, upvote type of site where the crowd got to determine through voting up or down stories who would reach the front page. And if you got to the front page, you got thousands upon thousands of visitors. So a few hours, one evening, I decided to write a tutorial based on that, and hey, one second. This is gonna die on me. Okay, so I decided to write a tutorial based on it was it's actually a kind of a crappy tutorial. Uh, nonetheless, I submitted it and it hit the front page and I got like thirteen thousand visitors, and that didn't mean anything because I uh, wasn't monetizing the site. I didn't sell any services. I didn't have a portfolio. It was just like one page and that's it. So, yeah, I reached the goal. And forward about uh, six months later, for some reason I was just bored and I wanted to check my web stats. And out of nowhere, I, I see that I was getting like a thousand visitors a day. And where I thought I was just getting zero, you know, who the hell's checking out aside from like search engine bots or whatever. And so I looked into it and I see that my website or that page ranks for keywords in Google, like how to design a logo. And so, I decided from there to monetize it and made video tutorials. That's kind of how I got into this whole business of making video tutorials. I figured, you know, maybe people want to see full video tutorials that pay a small price. And I also advertise services for actually designing logos. And from there, I made pretty good money. I'd say right off the gate, I was making like 3,000 bucks a month. And that's all from just one evening sitting there. I wrote a tutorial. I submitted it to a site. And I didn't have the intentions of it, of it like really blowing up, but it did. And I was actually, that's what enabled me to not have to work for anybody. 3,000 was just a starting point. It got to, at its heyday, it was making near over $10,000 a month. So this is why it's so important to have your own. It, that's only one of the reasons, really. Uh, there's so many other reasons it's important to have your own site to, to be established. But a real big reason is so that you could put out content out there. It doesn't necessarily have to be a tutorial. It could be even your own design work. Maybe you're doing something really interesting. Uh, if you want to write articles for design uh, or what you learned and submit it or even make scripts or even offer freebies, design freebies like Photoshop action files or template files, there's a million different things you can do with a website. So if you're one of the guys who are thinking, eh, I don't need my own website, you know, and you're a freelancer or whatever, I don't even care if you work for somebody currently and you already have a living, you should still have a website and you should still try to use it and post it regularly. Uh, because 
if you're working for somebody like an employer, yeah, it's great, it's consistent, steady income, but man, nothing beats working for yourself. So having your own website and posting to it regularly and trying to uh, really just curate it and develop it is a huge step towards, I would say, financial freedom in a sense. So definitely go get a domain I uh, and also make sure you get the hosting and it's cheap. I if you if you're piss poor, do whatever it takes. I mean, it's like what ten or eleven dollars for a domain name and then for hosting. I mean, if you go to one of the many different hosts out there, even like GoDaddy is like one of the cheapest, I think. I mean, it's literally like four dollars a month. So I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're a thirteen or you're a twelve year old kid. You can afford it. I mean, you can do whatever it takes to make the money. And so. After that, then it becomes just uh, developing the site. Maybe get a copy of WordPress and get a good theme up there and just start pumping out content, come up with an idea and a plan for it and you can start making money and start really uh, pushing your own image and your brand out there. All right, just a quick video with you. So uh, check out designcourse.com if you haven't. Subscribe here on YouTube. And very shortly, I'm gonna be releasing the designcourse.com premium subscription service, so check that out. All right, goodbye.